Hi guys, I'm David Dispanat, and today we're going to be talking about the Spider 5 Capture Pro bundle or kit by Datacolor. I'd like to thank Datacolor for sending this out to me. This is something I've been wanting to test out and see if this is going to help my photography and video workflow better. And so far, I've been really happy with it. So let's take a look and see what's inside this bad boy. There's some really cool stuff in this kit. All right, so let's open it up. First thing, you get a really nice uh, aluminum box with padding in it. So if you use all the items that we're going to talk about today, then you can just carry your box around. So what do we have inside? So let's take a look right here at the top. And right here, what we have, and let me set this up for you real quick. So you use this. Now there's a specific technique that you use. And what this is going to help you do is dial in tactar. <laughs> I can't even say it right, guys. What this is going to do is it's going to help you dial in tack sharp focus with your lens. So your lens may be a tad bit out of focus at certain focus points. So what this does is there's a specific procedure, and we're going to do this in a separate video. I'm actually going to show you how to do this. And you'll be able to connect your lens to your camera and use a technique with this product right here and make sure that your lens is sharp as possible. If it isn't, we're gonna show you how to adjust that in your camera so that each and individual lens that you have for your camera is gonna be as sharp as possible when shooting with that specific DSLR body. So this thing is a really, really cool item. So let's set it to the side. Actually, we can, we can leave it set up just so you guys can see. So we'll set that over here to the side. So uh, next, we've got this really cool thing. So we've got the spider color checker. So you guys have probably seen one of these. Um, I, I've known about these probably for years, but I've never actually used one or taken the time to really learn what it was till about a year, year and a half ago when I started doing a little more research and trying to get my white balance. I always thought because you shoot in RAW when you're doing pictures that I could just go into Lightroom or Adobe Photoshop and I could just fix the white balance myself, but it's never perfect. So Data Color, and there's a few other brands out there, but I really like uh, Data Color Spider Checker the best. And you, what you do is you use this checker when shooting with clients, um, outdoors or indoors, and you can use this to get your white balance the way you want it. So the idea is that you would set it in front of your client like this, and then you would take a picture with the lighting source. So as you can see, I have like a, a lighting source coming in from here, from here, and from over here, right? So this is my most direct lighting source. So I'm going to set this close to my face where that lighting source is. I'm going to take a picture. And then when I go into Lightroom, I can actually pick what variants of gray I want, which I usually go for this guy right here. I'll, I'll use the color checker in Lightroom, and I'll hit this. And then I can save a preset. And now my white balance is going to be a lot more accurate than if I did it manually, which I think is really cool. So, but if that isn't enough, they have this little spider cube. Now this I have not tested out yet, but this thing is, is awesome um, from the research and what I've done. So what it does is it screws into the top of here, and you can use the cube um, by yourself. Now there's a couple of different variances. I've heard of photographers using this as a way uh, to dangle this. If you have multiple light sources, say you've got like a tungsten here and, and you have a fluorescent here, you can kind of dangle this so the lights, both of those lights will hit it, and then you can pick one or the other to help balance your white balance. Uh, Lindsay Atler, I don't know if you guys know who she is, she's an excellent studio portrait photographer, amazing work. And that's, that's actually what she uses this specific, the cube for specifically. But so you can actually put the cube on top of this, and now you have this added piece to your cube, right? And again, you want to do this every time you change light source. So if you're going outside and you're going from uh, a shaded area into uh, a, a less shaded area or a brighted area, you're going to want to recheck every time so that you're able to keep your color balance. Um, and the really cool thing is that with Lightroom, once you've set this preset, if you took, let's say, 100 pictures all in the same area, or let's say we just did it in the studio, you can kind of set that preset to all of your pictures, and now they're all perfectly white balanced. So the really cool thing about this is, is that we're able to do this. So then what we do is we use the color checker to hit the gray piece up here on the top. This chrome piece is going to be for your catch light. And then this is going to be for your black and white. So you're able to even be, you're able to get your black and whites, your white balance, and your catch light. You're able to dial that in even more. So I didn't even know this was possible till, till like 
a month ago when I found out about the, the cube. I've known about the color checker for a long time. I did not know about the cube. And uh, so I'm really excited to get into the studio. I've used the color checker already and it works fantastic. I'm really excited to get in the studio and test out the cube and see how much better I can fix not only my white balance, but my whites and blacks and catch light. So this is really, really cool. And just to, just to mention, this is, this is kind of taking you to the next level as a photographer or a videographer. This is going to help you get uh, more precise color, more precise white balance. Something that you probably never really thought about because you've been able to fix it yourself. But if you want to get that extra couple percent, this is where it's at, right here. Now, let's talk about the last item in this wonderful kit that I'm really excited about. I've already used it on both my monitors, and most of you probably know what I'm about to pull out. And this is going to be the Spider Pro 5. This thing is fantastic. Now, another thing that I've never really taken seriously is getting my monitors properly color balanced. So if you do a lot of print work, this thing is a must have if you're doing photography and you're doing a lot of print work. So if you're, even if you're sending it off to the lab or you're printing it off yourself there at your house, you really need something that's going to get your colors accurate, your darks, your contrast, your lights, so that they look really good when they come out of your printer, especially if you're already having issues with your pictures not looking. If they look one way on the monitor and then you get it printed out and it looks a different way, then, then this is where this, this comes in. Now there are three different versions of this and each version kind of is set for a different type of photographer or videographer. So let's go over these three different versions. So the first version is just your express version. And that's going to be for your real basic color, um, color setup for your monitor. I think that's four steps. I don't have this one. Um, and, and, it's, and it's just a basic, let's just kind of calibrate the monitor a little bit better for when I'm editing. And this is probably, in my opinion, more for like a hobbyist, uh, maybe a landscape photographer, someone that, that just does this for fun, that isn't really trying to make a living or money out of it, but they still want to have better color balance with their monitor. Next is going to be their pro version. Now they say this is more for the hobbyist, um, but for me, the pro version, I mean, they call it the, the, spider, the spider Pro. Um, so, and what it is, it, it goes from, and what they say on their website is more of a hobbyist into a professional photographer, and you're gonna have of more options for calibrating your monitor and getting that color correction. Now, in my opinion, if you're serious, you're making money at photography, you need to go for their elite version. That's the one that I've got right here. Now this thing is great for projectors, it is going to be good for videographers, it is going to be good for professional photographers, and especially if you're doing a lot of print work, this is the one you're gonna need because this is gonna help you calibrate your monitor so that it gets the right color contrast that you're gonna need when printing. So not everybody's lab that you send it off to is gonna be able to fix it. So if you can fix it there in your own studio, on your own computer, it's gonna make it much easier and your quality of your photos are gonna look a lot better when you send off to get them printed or if you do it yourself. So again, that's what I have as elite version. And then the very last thing in here is just this card, which I've got it flipped over because I don't want you guys seeing my serial number and stealing it from me and then I can't use my own products. So uh, and that will be your serial number. And so then you can pack all this thing back into the case and you can take this wherever you go. Now, uh, I have not calibrated my Mac laptop that I have over here. I'm actually gonna be doing a, a video on that showing you guys my calibration when I with my Mac laptop so we can actually calibrate it. I've already calibrated both of my 27 inch HP monitors that I use for my desktop computer with editing. So all of this together, and, and this, is, this is the really cool thing, this whole entire setup is I think like $270 and actually I had it pulled up on their website uh, and let's see if I can find it real quick. Um, there it is. The, so this is again the Data Color Spider Capture Pro 5 kit or the Spider 5 Capture Pro kit. Uh, and so it's, um, it's $270 which I think is extremely reasonable especially being able to get your white balance. You can now get tack tar tack sharp focus. I can't say that today. I'm tongue-tied. Uh, tack, sharp, focus. Very important when shooting um, video or photography. So if your lens isn't backwards focusing or forwards focusing, and it might be doing it just a little bit, this is going to help you figure out where it's backwards and forwards focusing. Okay, and then you're going to be able to dial that in with your DSLR and fix that issue so you're able to get that sharpness. 
So you're having sharpness issues with your lens, this is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be great for getting your color contrast, your white balance set back up, your catch light, must have. And then of course, you need to have your monitors properly color balanced. And my monitors were so awfully color balanced, I had them too bright, the colors were way off, I actually had monitors set up on different settings, and I'd been editing like this for years, and I never realized, I just never realized how bad it was. Now that I've had it, I can just see the major difference in my editing. Um, if you, and if you had to go out and buy one of these items, it's really hard to say which one you want to get, right? But the Spider Checker Pro is, is a must have, and I really feel like getting your, your monitor calibrated. Now, at the end of this video, I'll add in links as they become available. I'll add in links on how to use each one of these items. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take from the time that you watch this video before I have the other videos out where I'm literally going to teach you how to use this. I'm going to teach you how to use this. I'm going to teach you how to use this. And I'm going to talk more in depth about it. Um, really today I just want to show you what's in the case, talk a little bit about what each item does, and then we'll do separate videos on each item so that you can actually physically see what it does and how it works and we can get a little more in depth. Like we're going to take this to the studio, we're going to set up lighting, and then I'm going to pull it into Lightroom, we're going to edit that picture, and I'm going to show you the difference that using this system right here does for you. So guys, as always, thanks for stopping in. I really appreciate it. We'll also add a link in right at the end of the video to the website, to the kit, so if you want to order it yourself or take a look at it, um, you have that option. You can go to their website. You can check them out. They're great people over at Data Color. They make a great product. And for the people that are just trying to take their workflow and their photography and videography to that next level, I know people use that next level thing all the time, but this really does help you getting your workflow, your photography, videography to that next level. We'll catch you next time, guys. Hey guys, if you'd like to check out our website where we have all kinds of fun and exciting blogs, videos, and extra information that isn't on our YouTube page, click right here. If you'd like to talk to us or contact us and kind of take a look at all the different stuff that we have going on, um, we've kind of funneled it all through our Facebook. You can hit our Facebook page right here and follow us or like us. Now, if you like to look at cool pictures and behind the scenes stuff, we do that on Instagram right here. So go on and follow us on Instagram. And of course, we've got our cute little bird right here, Mr. Twitter. And you can follow us as we do our short tweets.